Welcome to the solution for challenge number seven called getting around. The challenge was to create buttons that were on each of your notebook pages and the buttons would take you to any other page in your notebook file. In this case I have um, three other pages other than the home page and I could click on any button to get to any page I wanted to. Very easy to navigate around this notebook file. So let me go ahead and show you how I did this. All right, here we, let me start with a new home page. Now, following this page, I have a puzzle page, a word search page, and a game page. These pages could be anything that's in your notebook file. But I'm now going to create a way that I can navigate to any of these pages through the use of buttons. So I created four buttons, and I just created these buttons using a text box up here um, with my shapes toolbar just use the rectangle and then I put uh, um, the text inside the box so it's very easy to do um, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have these link to other pages in the document let me go ahead and look at my page sorter here are my solution pages here under the solutions group so I want to have um, things jump to these other pages notice what I did I named all these pages so they're easy to find when we apply the links here this is my game page this is my word search page now to change the name of a page you just double click on the name type it in and hit enter you'll be all set okay let me go back to my home page and let me apply my link I'm gonna to go to puzzle select it drop down options button and click on link now I want my entire um, box to be a hyperlink so I make sure that I'm linking on the entire object I select pages in this file and I just then um, find the page I want to link to. In this case, it's this puzzle page. I click OK. Now I do that for each of the different buttons. This one's going to my word search. Click OK. This one is going to my game page. Select the entire object, pages in this file, and game page. The last one is my home page object pages in this file and it's this home page right here click OK now we actually I could use this to jump to my game page and I all the buttons actually work right now so we just need to make some minor modifications and get these buttons on all the other pages the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and um, actually I'm gonna select each piece and I'm going to apply a suggestion that one of the teachers sent in and that was to give each of the buttons its own color to help the kids find the buttons on all the other pages so I'm just going to do that I'm just going to select these stay in my properties and give them all a different color that way they're they're easy to find and I also want to on the other pages I want to keep them in the same location that also helps the kids find the buttons that we're looking for all right, now we should be all set. They all have their hyperlinks, so we're going to select them all. We're going to go to our Edit menu and select Copy. Now we're just going to copy these to our other pages. Um, I want to kind of pay attention to where these um, buttons are on the page. Notice that the corner of the puzzle button is kind of right there by the uh, turkey's eye, so I'm, I'm going to try to use that to help position these. So let me go to this. I've copied those. Now I just paste them. Now I can select them and hopefully move them fairly close to the same place on each page. Paste, select, move. And this is something that you can go back and refine later on. But I've probably done a pretty good job of getting everything pretty close. All right, now we're set. So all our buttons should work. This should take me home to my game page, to my word search page, and to my puzzle page. Great. Now, let's do a little cleanup. Um, we're on our home page. This page actually doesn't need a home button, <laughs> so we're going to delete that. All right, um, now let's go to our puzzle page. Now, our puzzle page, we don't need a hyperlink um, on this button because we're already on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click on it, click on Link, and remove that link. Now, I'm also going to add a small effect. I'm going to go to my Properties tab and just add a little uh, transparency to that um, button. Kind of makes it look like it's inactive. And I just do this technique on all my pages. Get rid of the link and then add a little transparency. There we go. Okay, so link, 
There you go. Get rid of that and add our transparency. All right. We should be all set. I can go home, go to word search. Notice that the buttons are inactive when I'm on that page. And that is how to apply the getting around um, challenge. And I think it's a, a great um, technique to know how to do to add easier navigation for the kids when they're using notebook applications in the classroom.